Hi, my name is Sarah Peterson from Sarah Vesa Bottle Shop in Pasty Tavern in Portland, Oregon, and I'm here to tell you how to make a mug frosty. The materials you will need are mugs and a freezer and some water. Um, first of all, you need to make sure that your mug is clean. And so you need to wash it with water, make sure there's no suds, that it's rinsed off real well. And then after it's cleaned, you need to make sure it comes down to room temperature. Then you put your mug in the cooler and you let it sit for about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how many other new mugs are in the freezer. Um, the more new mugs, the longer it's going to need to sit. If it's the only fresh mug in the cooler, it will become froster, frostier quicker. Um, your goal is to get something like this. Now I recommend using a frosty mug over other types of glassware, such as a goblet, a pilsner, or a wine glass for a couple different reasons. Frosty mugs are real sturdy. They're not going to crack as easy. They also have a handle, so it's not as cold to drink out of. And lastly, glasses like goblets or wine glasses are more specifically used for certain types of beverages that are intended to be served warmer than 32 degrees Fahrenheit or a little bit warmer than that. Actually, most beers are intended to be drank warmer than, a, than in a chilled mug, but lagers such as pilsners and um, ales that are lagered like Kolsch's, you might like in a frostier mug where they are beers that are intended to be drank um, quick, fast, pure, they're refreshing, um, rather than beers that have a lot of flavor in them and that are made to be enjoyed and sipped and drank in a slower pace in a warmer temperature. I'm Sarah from Sarah Vesa and that's how to make a frosty beer mug.